This was Jefferson's favorite recipe for ice cream. Two bottles of cream and five egg yolks and so forth. When he went over to Paris, he took his cook over with him because he was very much interested in good food. And he wrote down in his own hand a great many good French recipes that he liked. And then he asked the various chefs to help his cook and give him some pointers. From then on, he would never be without a French chef. You know, you never know what you're going to find when you start browsing among these old cookbooks. You know, the, what's fascinating about these books, this is 1738, but it gives you a real idea of what people were eating and doing and how they lived, what they grew in their gardens, what they did for entertainment. The view of history that we get through the kitchen window is a more gentle view not of war and politics, but of family and community and sharing. The earliest cookbook in the Library of Congress collection was in the 1400s, and I think the Italians were the masters of cooking at that point, but still things were rather in a chaotic state and nothing much had been written down. But the library has the very first French cookbook, Le Cuisinier François, and when the French came into it seriously, they began making order out of chaos. The French set a standard for cookbooks. They were the first to establish the order of ingredients, the units of measure, and many of the cooking techniques that are familiar today. Now here's a, here's a wonderful little book. This is a French one from the 18th century. Le Festin Joyeux, or La Cuisine en Musique. As the author says, it is written to so that Madame can teach her underlings how to remember the recipes of the household. So that you have all the recipes in here, and then each one has the name of the tune, and then you look back, and there, there is the music. And it really is a good way of remembering recipes. It's just as though you said, four quarts of cream, three fresh eggs, two cups of sugar, one vanilla bean, and a partridge in a pear tree. Now maybe that's a good idea. Perhaps I should have a singing cookbook for my next one. Mm -hmm.